All right, we just got off near Roppongi. We're heading to the Team Labs Borderless. We just got out of the really nice train station. This area is super nice. Just all high-end shopping, great architecture, plants everywhere. Look at the streets here. It's unbelievable. It's probably definitely nicest, most organized, clean country in the world. Everything is perfect. I think we come here before, right? We've been in this area before. You got Tokyo Tower here. You got the art museum, the mall, the shops. Roppongi Hills is pretty cool. Definitely come. And then the temperature of May is awesome. 70 degrees, high of 80, light rain now and then, but perfect temperature to where you can walk miles and miles and not be hot or cold. If it does get hot, he has her little portable fan. You'll see everyone in Japan with them in June and July and August. Walk in the team labs. Amazing streets, beautiful storefronts everywhere. Temples randomly on the way. Of course, you got all your high end stuff, and then there's a temple popping up behind it. There's Tokyo Tower. office buildings, residential mixture. Great place just to walk around. He's got her fan. Perfect temperature though, it's like 70s. Nice little parks just to hang out randomly. Get in there. There's the taxis, Toyota. Their Toyota vans look way cooler than ours. There's a nice Porsche. Saw a G Wagon roll by. Besides the taxis. I've never seen nothing less quality than a Mercedes roll by. Lots of Ferraris, a few Lamborghinis, a couple Bentleys. It's all white Bentley convertible with red leather interior. It's really awesome. What is that? Looks like a Maserati. Can't tell. Check out this little Nissan. It's like all the ones they're importing right now. To Hawaii, all the little mini, mini vehicles. Again, super popular. And another Porsche. New building going up. Never been anywhere traveling lately where they're not expanding. The whole world's just growing. I think where this team labs is is a new area. Gets you off the normal path you always take if you visit the same city. So 
Always cool to see new stuff. If you don't want to walk, they got Uber taxis. There's one right there. So they run off the Uber app, but it's like a regular taxi, so you don't need Japanese speaking. It's a lot easier. Put in your destination. Taxis are kind of pricey here. Sometimes it's worth it though. And how far the train station is from you. Here comes another G-Wagon. We passed that. This one? It's a nice color. Cool lassie dog. Lots of people have dogs here, even though it's pretty pure city. It's a nice color. Yeah, we just passed it, but we're early. We got an hour to kill. We're just gonna wander around if it starts raining. And we'll hurry up and duck in. Oh, check this out. She's she's uh grooming this poodle looking thing. That's a perfect haircut. Professional job right there. Awesome. Everyone here is so nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Japan's awesome. Everyone's so friendly. It's just like Vietnam. I think that's a Defender. I don't see that too often. There's the Appas like everywhere. You can always stay in an Appa. It's good middle range hotel business style all over this area is amazing of Tokyo it's basically you have Roppongi Hills <laughs> and another hills area which is awesome more high-end definitely everything here is scaled up in price but with the yen rate 155 was 158 to the dollar compared to normal you're getting amazing deals japan made products you're getting half off basically beautiful place to walk when you try to find places, always leave early because it's sometimes very confusing to find the certain buildings they're in. A lot of places can be kind of hidden. You'll be following signs and then it just totally gets confusing. So we're heading to the Digital Art Museum. It says it's straight ahead. And you got all the residencies here. Ooh, Shogun Burger. You want a good quality Japanese burger? Definitely recommend that place is awesome. Yeah, Vietnam now has Shogun Burger. It's a nice plaza and a park. They got little food stalls down there. Alright, we're gonna find Team Labs and then hit you back later. Alright, we're still walking. Figured I'd came up because there's some really interesting things randomly like that. Awesome plazas to stroll around. Right near Tokyo Tower. So now you can buy ice cream. 
You can chill out over there. Definitely get some green tea ice cream if you're in Japan. We're just killing time, making a big circle, it looks like. You got some nice water refill, filtered water stations. No fish in the little streams. It's a cool little stairway. Right, if you're gonna come to the team lab, the map on uh, Google is really hard to follow. So if you see that statue in that plaza tower I showed you, there's the Hermes, and it's right here. Garden Plaza C. It's really hard to find. Horrible map. Google Maps is way off. There's a British school here too. Pretty random. So hopefully that sign is correct in the right area. And then we're going down. We'll see. Alright, so we're in the market. Heading to the team labs. Then we got sidetracked. Check out this market. It's awesome. They got the cooking back there. They got all the dried foods. Dried fish, dried meat. Tuna. I think that's it, the tuna one. Oh yeah, looks like dried aku. That's the good ones for barbecuing. Oh yeah, these are the ones they give you all the time at the restaurant we go to. Super good. Then they have all the dried uh, whole fish, dried mushrooms. Seaweed. Dried seaweed. Looks like scallop. Awesome market. They're making them all in the back. Super cool. Oh, they got whole fish here too. Saba, mackerel, snapper, Alfonso. This is the deep water, deep water mempachi, Alfonso. The whole filet. That's awesome. We could probably find amazing furtakake we were gonna go to the market for in here actually. Let's see, some friends requested special furtakake, which is seasoned seaweed for everyone that doesn't know. Hawaii is big on Asian foods. If you miss, if you've never had furtakake with the dried seaweed seasoning, definitely get some and put it on your rice. It's a game changer. Kind of looks like this, but it's more shredded. So you have this one and that one's all different. And usually it's ground up more. Check it out, this pair of shop. They specialize in all the different caviars. Oh, fancy as you can get. never tried caviar you're missing out you can try a little sample for 20 grand awesome little shop beautiful
Team Labs. Then you go down here, there's signs you can find. And it looks like a to-go sushi right here. If you ever see a big line, hit it up. It's probably top notch. level down definitely come early because your tickets only for a certain time it's definitely hard to find because of multiple levels Google can't handle multiple levels easily so you easily get lost on maps but you can ask any worker and they're very very good at helping any foreigner Japanese will go out of their way to help you every single time you ask them. Some more really nice cafe. Looks like they got a whole bunch of fruit juices. Check this out. This is another amazing looking shop. Check out this decor. <laughs> they built a whole fake tree. Looks like they got all the different sweets. Oh, all kinds of different cakes and jams. They definitely go above and beyond on their decor. got turned around again but we saw a sign so when you come down that last escalator you're gonna do a u-turn so if you don't look behind you you're gonna miss it again there it is and then there's the time plot so we're early we're gonna kill some time Right around from Team Labs, you got more art displays. Pretty cool artwork. All the art is for sale. Very unique and cool. Check out this honey shop. They got all kinds of honeys made out of chestnuts from different flowers. They have the bee pollen, so I picked up some bee pollen. Uh, usually it helps my allergies if it's local, but I'm gonna try foreign bee pollen. When I have a lot of sneezing, it helps a lot. Places all different money. Super cool. And they sample. We just tried a few, it was really good. Here's more of the honey shops. They even have the candies. Different sets. So many different types of honey. Oh you're good. Unbelievable. Pretty much honey from any tree flower you want. Fruit flowers, herb flowers. You could spend hours in here trying all the honeys if you wanted. 
check out this coffee shop. Beautiful design. It's the same bean that Vietnam uses, so I'm really curious. Tastes the same if the line's smaller later. Let's check it out. And all the different beans you can get to go from all over Indonesia, Guatemala, Colombia. Here's a shop if you're into sweets. Check that out. Cookies, cakes, chocolate, everything. Pretty crazy. Ooh, fruit bars. These fruit bars are good. <laughs> Don't come to Japan and try to do keto. It'll drive you crazy. It smells really good in here. They have like a uh, flower fragrance going on. Somewhere else. 